Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a look at two of my favorite DIY alcohol stoves and we're going to see which one works better. Thanks for watching. So here are the two contenders. We have my Sprite can stove. This is made from just a bottle of Sprite that you can buy these days, really simple aluminum. Okay, I have a video on how to make this. I also have a video on how to make this. This is my oldest DIY alcohol stove. This is a really uh, common design out there. It's a fancy feast stove. It's basically uh, a cat can stove on the outside. You've got some carbon felt on the inside and then a tomato paste can here on the top. I do have videos, like I said, to make both of these. We're gonna weigh them each and then we're going to fill them with exactly one ounce of denatured alcohol by weight. And we're gonna see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. All right, so first we'll take a look at our cat can stove. We're gonna weigh it. We've got seven eighths of an ounce or 25 grams. Next, we've got the Sprite stove, which is one half ounce or 15 grams. What we've got here is one ounce of denatured alcohol in each of our stoves. I'm gonna light them up at the same time. And as soon as they both bloom, I'm going to put on our water. Now this is 16 ounces of room temperature water, which is fairly cold here right now. And we're gonna see how long it takes to create a boil. And we're gonna see how long they last as far as continuing to burn. All right, so here we go. Pretty much lit at the same time. Here we go. Put them both on. Start our timer. They both look pretty centered, so I'm happy with both of those. Now, as you can see, both of these do not require a pot stand, which is really, really nice. And one of the benefits of using these as ultralight stoves, I think it's very hard to find or imagine stoves that are lighter than these that will do the job. Now real quick, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom y'all into each of the stoves so you can see the flame pattern really well. Here's the flame pattern of the Sprite can stove. It really does a pretty good job of basically keeping the majority of the flames on the pot itself. Here's the flame pattern of the cat can stove. Obviously the flames come up from the carbon felt, which allows really good contact with the bottom of the pan itself. So both of these I think are very efficient in getting the heat to the bottom of the pots. So we're back. Let's fast forward through this and see how long it takes to get to a boil. All right, so the Sprite stove is boiling. And the cat can stove is not there yet, so let's keep going. I'm going to leave the stove uh, and just the water boiling just to see how long it burns for. All right, so we're boiling over here on the left. So we're boiling on the cat can stove, just a little bit behind the Sprite stove. All right, I'm going to call that out on the cat can stove. Let's wait and see how much longer the Sprite stove goes for. All right, we're gonna stop it there. It's still going a little bit, but the boil has stopped. So we are gonna call this done. All right, so just to decipher this, we're gonna do this test one more time. So we have two different tests, just to see how close our tests run. But the Sprite stove boiled water in nine minutes, 27 seconds. That for me is a little slow compared to what I usually get. Uh, but the other one was also slow. The cat can stove was 10 minutes 15 seconds the cat can stove went out at 10 minutes 50 seconds and the sprite can stove went out at 11 minutes 56 seconds um, those are pretty good numbers as far as how long one ounce of fuel lasts but let me go ahead and recycle the water let me get some fresh water from outside and let's do this test one more time all right guys so the sprite can is to a boil you can probably hear it now and Cat can stove is not there yet. This one seems to be even worse, so let's see what happens. All right, guys, it caught up. We're gonna call that a boil. So that is the boil on the cat can stove. Let's see how long they burn. All right, we're gonna call that burnt out on the cat can stove. Very similar, I think, to last time. We're just getting a little bit of burn, a little bit, but not enough to really mean anything. All right, so once again, we're gonna call that that is not boiling anymore, it's still 
coming out with a little bit of flame but not boiling anymore so we're going to call that again eight minutes 30 seconds for a boil on the sprite stove nine minutes 43 seconds on the cat can stove the cat can stove only burned till 10 minutes 19 seconds and the Sprite stove burned, uh, again, 10 minutes, 57 seconds, almost to 11 seconds. All right, so that's a quick look at these two stoves. This is, again, the Fancy Feast kind of cat can stove. And then the second is a Sprite stove that I, uh, I call it a Sprite stove. You can make it out of Diet Coke can or a Coke can, whatever you want. Mine just happened to be a Sprite stove. Again, I will leave links down below to how I build each of these stoves. They're pretty straightforward to build and they work very, very well. Which one of these won? Well, I have been using the Sprite stove mainly in my ultralight cook kit lately and I think it works better. It has more consistent results than the cat can stove. Sometimes it seems like the cat can stove will get water to a bowl very quickly and sometimes it'll take a lot longer and I don't think it's the temperature of the water, it's just the way that it burns. This stove is consistent. You can see that it's 10 grams basically lighter than the other one. And it's become my go-to ultralight stove in my cook kit. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Love these type of videos, love making videos where we look at the performance of DIY gear and just the nuts and bolts of how things work. If you aren't already, please give me a subscription down below. It really helps make the channel grow. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. That also helps spread it across YouTube. Truly appreciate everyone's support. Channel continues to grow. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.